Hi you guys, my name is Kelly Morgan. I'm a registered dietitian and today I'm going to show you a super delicious, easy plant-based lunch. So before I went plant-based, I used to be the queen of chicken salad. I loved a good chicken salad sandwich. I was never that into tuna. Um, it just was like never my thing, but I loved a chicken salad sandwich. So I'm going to make a chickpea salad sandwich. It's a little different than the other ones you've seen online, so don't leave me just yet. And I recently got these on my last Thrive Market order. If you watched that last video, you guys, they're so good. The last two days, I've just been putting a handful of lettuce and a little bit of dressing on them and having like a handheld salad. They're absolutely incredible. I'm gonna be placing orders like crazy. Um, it's one serving of veggies in one wrap. It's only 20 calories, you guys. All right, let's get started. I have, yes, baby. You made mommy a rainbow. I love that. Max is coloring for me. Okay, so I have a can of drained and rinsed organic chickpeas. Now, for our dressing, we are going to do something a little different. Normally, I'm going to match these while I tell you. Normally, people use um, vegan mayo, which is fine, but I try to avoid a lot of things that come in. Packages I like to eat as close to whole food, plant-based as possible. I am definitely not a purist. I love my snacks and convenient foods as much as anyone else but i've lost 25 pounds and i've kept it off and i do have to watch my weight so anyways um and i also sometimes will just use lemon juice in my ebook i have a recipe for chickpea salad that uses lemon juice and that's absolutely delicious and that's like your skinniest version of doing it that way i've also done it before where for my creamy fat, I use avocado. And that's delicious, but I don't have any avocado today. It's Sunday, I'm sharing this with my daughter, so I want a little fat in it, so I am using tahini. If you guys have not gotten on these um, squirt tahini, they're incredible. It just makes eating tahini so much easier. You know, usually it's really oily, um, and then kind of dry and clumpy at the bottom. All right, it's gonna make that nice like ketchup noise for us. Oh, I might, I might be too loud for you. Okay. I put about a tablespoon and a half in there. Oh, I forgot my salt and pepper. Hold on, you guys. I am very particular about my salt and pepper. For salt, I love Redmond sea salt. It's so pure. I like salty food, but I'm very prone to getting bloated. I can use a lot of this salt with absolutely no bloat, no puffiness, no puffy eyes when I wake up in the morning. So... It's kind of pink. And it's, yeah, it's pink. It's pink. And you guys, my blood pressure is great, so I can like load it up. But if you've got high blood pressure, don't load it up like me. Okay, and then Pinsky's pepper is incredible. They say it's the best pepper in the world. Oh, no, lemon pepper would be so good. I would agree with them. Oh, yeah, lemon pepper in this would be really good. You know why? Because I'm actually doing a little bit of lemon in here as well. So I like it kind of wet. And if you just did... Um, a tablespoon of tahini would still be a little bit dry. So some lemon juice is gonna help to thin it out. So we're gonna do a juice of a lemon. And if you guys have a yellow lemon press, get a stainless steel one. I had a yellow one and then I noticed that some paint was flecking off and that's no doubt you're eating it. And you guys, I'm cutting with my new Caraway knives. This is the new Caraway collection. I'll put my discount link below for, um, it's brand new so they're having like a 20% off sale. They are absolutely, they're definitely the nicest knives I've ever had. My home Let was... me see. Oh! Do you want to show everybody? You want to it show does. them? So I made this with my rainbow, so I don't know what. I love it. What are you gonna do with it? You can hang it in Daddy's office. Oh! Daddy will love it. And you know, I'm me, so I have to add a ton of veggies. I will use a white onion or a purple onion, but I really prefer a green onion, especially if it's like lunchtime here. So I'm having this in the middle of the day. If I have a real onion, I smell like onion the rest of the day. And if I have a green onion, it's not so bad. So we're doing a stock of celery, a stock of green onions. And then Maddie, do you want me to put the radish in it or? Oh yeah. On top, okay. Maddie and I really like radishes. The radishes are like extra credit points, but they're really, really, really good. And I like to mandolin. I'm gonna mandolin my radish and then um, 
chop it. So let's mandolin it down here. That's smart because I feel like it's important in like, you know, like salads like these where the base is mushy to have lots of like little texture, texture bites. Thank you, Maddie. We should do a cooking show together. We Did should. you hear Maddie? She said, Maddie's my savory foodie. I'm a sweets and she's savory. Um, she was just saying that when you have like a mushy salad like this, it's nice to have something like crunchy in it and radishes are so nice and crunchy and so is the celery and they just have such a good flavor. I love radishes. I would eat them like apples if I could. <laughs> I won't stop you. I'm your mother. If I say it's okay, I'll I say it's okay. I won't stop you because I'm your little brother. You well, are the little brother. Okay, okay. Right? everyone's supporting you eating radishes, Maddie. <laughs> Ooh, and look, it's going to be hot pink. Ooh. Do you guys like my new sweats? They're the new Aviator, Aviator Nation heart sweats and they have a little jacket too, but it's um, Phoenix. So I won't be wearing that jacket for a while. I'm really hoping, I've already washed these twice. I've only had them a week. I'm really hoping that um, the pink doesn't fade so that they match the jacket. That's kind of what happens here in Phoenix is um, you wear your pants about three times more than you wear the jackets. Okay, I'm getting a pickle. You cannot have a chicken salad or a tuna salad or a chickpea salad without a pickle, without a pickle. And some people pour the juice in there. I'm, I don't like that. I just like a nice, Hot pickle. You guys, I can't get over these knives. I have the new cutting boards from Caraway on the way too. Let me see. Okay, let's stir it all up. If you guys have ever done my shred program or you follow me on Instagram and you hear me talking about my 10 plant-based weight loss, one of the reasons that people absolutely love my program and they continue to do it over and over and over and tell their friends about it, that's how it's grown, just word of mouth, is because we incorporate what's called the science of volumetrics. If I was just to make this wrap and just put some chickpeas on it and a few pieces of lettuce, sure, it'd be delicious, you know, put some salt and pepper on there. But when we're bulking this up with all these vegetables, we're going to fill our stomach. Your stomach actually has what's called stretch receptors where when you hit those receptors, it sends a signal to your brain to turn off hunger. So if you're eating teeny tiny portions of food, you're never going to have to hit those receptors and you're going to have to rely on willpower to stop eating. So this way, it kind of helps you out. And if you're an eater and you're on a weight loss journey, you really wanna make sure you're eating as many vegetables as possible. And if they make you bloated, just stay away from like the really um, broccoli, cauliflower, you know, just things that are prone to bloat you and do more cucumbers and celeries, tomatoes, radishes, probably like salad type vegetables. Okay, you guys look at this with one tablespoon, only 120 calories and that's a whole fat. It's a good fat, so don't even worry about it. This whole entire thing is creamy because we also added that um, juice of half a lemon. So let me test it. Mmm. Incredible. I can't believe I've been talking for eight minutes. What have I talked about? Mmm. <laughs> Every time I make a video, I think this could be like three minutes long, but I'm a chatterbox. Oh, it's delicious. Oh my. Are they gotten wraps? Girl, it is good. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, the other thing is I don't like to put mustard in my salad. I like to put it on the side because I want the, f I don't, mustard's such a strong flavor. I love it, but I don't want it all over. I just want it like that bright pop when you like bite into hummus or bite into mustard, if that makes sense. Speaking of hummus, you could mix hummus. You could have that as your fat too. But you know what guys, hummus makes me a little bloated. I don't do a ton, a ton of hummus. Okay, so I'm gonna make Maddie one. Look how cool these are. Okay. Oh, a little there. Okay. So, I'm so excited. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Okay. Mm. I have to steal another bite. You're making me jealous. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Do you want mustard? Um. Do you want to try it without first? Yeah, yeah. What is a salad? That iceberg lettuce. Right. I like that one because it is cabbage and shredded carrots. So mm. I just You're right. Cabbage, shredded carrot. Okay. Now you just wrap it up just like it's a tortilla. Let's get it going this way. So you get a good. You're gonna die with me this many. Oh okay. God, Please don't sorry. die though. Don't show. <laughs> I'm not sure. I know the Heimlich. Oh, look 
at this. Ooh, look at this. Okay, I hope you guys like this. I hope I gave you a little inspiration for a nice plant-based meal. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to overthink it. It doesn't have to be fancy. So just be simple tastes best. That is what I always tell Maddie. Simple is best. So follow along on my channel if you want some more of these recipes. Tell me what else I could give a healthy makeover to, and I'll see you on my next video.